I'll show you some options you have for configuring the Tools panel found on the left hand side of the user interface here. To start, we can go to View, Customize Tools. This reveals a large number of tools that can be added to the panel. You can also remove tools entirely from the panel. For example, if you never use the Dodge, Burn, and Sponge brush tools, you can click drag this tool group to the right, then release the mouse button to remove it. Some of the tools appear to be duplicated, but this is actually the tool group and then the individual tools on their own. So, as another example, I might remove the Paintbrush tool group, which also contains the color replacement and pixel brush tools, then replace it with a single paintbrush tool. Hovering over the tools will produce tooltips to explain what each tool is. And you can also find a tool divider at the very end here. I might click drag this down here and create a separate division for some of the filter tools. Then I could add the motion blur tool, the zoom blur tool, and the displacement map tool down here if I use them regularly. I'll also quickly show you the column options. By default, the tools occupy a single column. I can change this to a higher number, such as 2. And now, when I close the tools configuration, notice that the primary and secondary color option down here has expanded, whereas with a single column, it is more compact. You can also go to View, Dock Tools to toggle whether the Tools panel is docked or floated. When floating, it can be moved around and repositioned. If I now select Customize Tools again, the floating panel will expand to reveal all the additional tools. Finally, I can set my number of columns back to one, then click Reset down here to restore the original tools layout. I'll click Close, then choose to dock my Tools panel to return to the default layout. And there we go. Just a quick look at how to customize the Tools panel in Affinity Photo. Thank you for watching.